Good morning, guys. I decided to do a very quick painting this morning. Um, we've had some incredibly nice weather here in New England for a change. Um, this winter hasn't been as bad as it could have been. So I decided to celebrate by doing a um, spring-inspired um, Dutch pour. So I put Nate's stormy winter, uh, Nate's stormy weather down as my base coat for my, um, for my Dutch pour. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of, um, winter's lavender iridescent. Let's put this back over here. And to that, I'm going to add some of Christina's Laguna Shimmer. I don't think I've opened this one yet. Yeah, I have. Just the top didn't want to come off. There we go. Just a little. It's a really pretty yellow. Very soft, very subtle, very sweet. And to that, I have some... Um, Hmm. Oh, here's this one. Uh, get into this one. Uh, normally when I have a glove on my hand, I can get into anything. There we go. Uh, I forget. Oh, this is a uh, Peebo. This is one of the Peebo colors. I knew I would think of it in a minute. Just put a little bit down there. And you can't think of spring and flowers without thinking about a little bit of green. So I don't have very much of this light green left. But I should have enough. Oh, and that's clogged. So I'll have to clean that in a little while. But I should have enough to get by for the little bit that I'll need for today. And I'm sorry my hand is in the way. There we go. See, I only needed a little bit, not a lot. And then our last two, maybe three colors, is going to be Porage Posse Purple Shimmer. Another really nice color. Uh, and this one is not open yet. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right, no problems. So I'll write on the paper towel I have on the floor under me. So that's good. Just a touch of this. And just a touch of orange. I don't have much left in this one either, and it's clogged. I have not been upstairs painting much lately, so I haven't come up here and taken care of um, making sure my bottles were not clogged and so forth. So that's my bad, but all in good time. And I think I'm gonna touch it off with just a touch more of this um, lovely soft lavender and just a touch more of the yellow, not much. So I'm gonna come in here and torch this, get all the bubbles up. my bead of paint around. And 
time to get started. This is gonna sound a little bit loud, so just bear with me for a minute. excess paint off very slowly. Just kind of rock it back and forth a little. Uh, but this is what we came out with. What do you think? I actually like it. I've been dying to use Nate's Stormy Weather as a base coat. I love this color quite a bit. And I'm just going to See if I can steal some paint from somewhere and put it right there where it doesn't look like I have much. There we go. Oh, this was a very quickie, but um, I've got painters coming over again today, so I got to get my butt downstairs and get ready. I hope you enjoy this. Um, it was fun to do. That's. I actually like it. It's it's kind of weird. Those colors don't normally, I don't think, go together, but it seems to be working right now. So I'm going to leave it as is. Come in here and pop any bubbles that might be in here. Although the uh, blow dryer sometimes helps get some of the bubbles out. Uh, so I don't have to torch as much. Um, let's see what we get for cells. I did not use any silicone in this painting, so I'm not expecting to get a lot of huge cells, but that's okay. I like the way it came out anyway. Anyway, have a good day. I hope you enjoy this, and we will do this again soon. Take care, guys. Bye.